Hi, last week's episode was a little racy, so we decided to hire a whole new team of writers to make sure that this week's episode was more innocent and wholesome. All week long, these eight kids wrote their hearts out to make tonight's episode a story suitable for the entire family. Unfortunately, the script they turned in, Norm Eats a Duty, was almost completely unusable. Thank you. Enjoy the show. So, Millie, it seems you've lost another job. Any idea why this one didn't work out? I don't really know. <laughs> I can see you're still singing everything. I, I can imagine that wore pretty thin down there at the mortuary. <laughs> probably why they fired you. I disagree with you. It's because I am a Jew. <laughs> Now, Millie, you know you're not Jewish. Now, you know this singing has gotten you into trouble your whole life. I know, I know. I really can't stop. I don't know why I want to die. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Millie? I think I, maybe I'll transfer you to a social worker that knows how to play the piano. You don't understand. <laughs> no, I, no one understands. I understand. You'll never understand. No. I really understand. <laughs> Ridiculous! Now you have to speak in your normal voice. I can't. Stop that! No! No more! Don't make me! Look, Why? You have to! Just pull yourself together and speak in your normal speaking voice. I guess it's that I'm insecure! I just died behind a song! <laughs> well, you know what? Let's go back to the singing. Do you have any job skills? And five, six, seven, eight! I can push her through my Not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad. 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 Oh, hey, Lori, have you seen Danny around? Uh, his mom called. She said it was about his dad, and it's real important. I wonder what that's about. Well, she wouldn't say, but I'll bet you anything it's about his dad being gay. <laughs> Danny's father is gay? Yeah. How do you know that? Harry and Norm dated. <laughs> we did not date. This is the 90s, you know? A gay man and a, and a straight man can be friends, right? A absolutely. Yeah, and uh, that friendship may include occasions when the older friend, you know, treats the younger friend to expensive dinners and, and uh, you know, some nice clothing that flatter his figure. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have used the word dated. Norm led a lonely old man on to get an expensive jacket. Leather jacket. God, I wonder how Danny's going to take the news that his father's gay. Yeah, I know, man. I remember how shocked I was when I learned that my father was uh, the Easter Bunny. Well, no, it's not the same thing. Your father isn't gay. Of course my father isn't gay. He's the Easter Bunny. My mom was a junkie. You know, in my experience as a social worker, when there's a member of the family that's gay and nobody talks about it, everybody knows. So, you know, deep down inside, Danny knows his father's gay. Oh, hey, Danny, your mom said to call somebody about your dad. My mom and dad are getting married again. I knew they would. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> oh, Taylor, I'm going to be in my office, but I want you to hold my calls. Oh, Mr. Demi, you brought me my lunch, sir. Thank no, you. No, no, no. I can't believe you didn't bring me my lunch, sir. Come on, I'm a human being here. I have feelings, you know? I mean, if I'm cut, do I not bleed? If you don't feed me, uh, do I not get all rumbly in my tumbly? Norm, I, I don't remember you asking me to get you anything. Well, I didn't, but it would have been nice, you know, if you brought me a grilled cheese sandwich and a potato salad, sir. Maybe a, a dessert surprise of some sort. Uh, yeah, hey, you know what always surprises me, sir? Cake. You know what surprises me, Norm? What's that? That you find your way home every night. Father died. God. Danny, I'm so sorry. Danny, 
the matter? It's my father. I know it's a shock, but it's a perfectly acceptable lifestyle choice. You know, and they're fun and festive, and they've given such a great deal to society. He's dead. What are you talking about? The dead. <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> He had a heart attack. You know, I know he had he had a bad heart and he had some heart problems, but I, I can't believe he's dead. Oh. I spoke to him oh, last week. Danny, I am so sorry. If there's anything that I can oh. do. Yeah, same here. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, it's a nice shirt. No, I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm no good with death. I don't know what to say. I, uh, I know. I'll make him a nice card, you know? I'll send him a card, maybe slip a couple of bucks in, you know? <laughs> no, that's stupid, too. Steaks. I'll get him steaks. Omaha steaks. No. Go over there and be sad with Danny right uh, now. Uh, yeah. uh, hey, uh, Danny. Uh, how you doing there, buddy? Not so good. Um, well, uh, listen, the important thing is that, uh, that he didn't suffer. They told my mom he sat there and gasped for air for 25 minutes. <laughs> Seriously, that's a nice shirt. <laughs> God, that's what am I right. talking it's, about? You tried, you know. I mean, the hard part's gonna be the funeral. That's where he's oh, really no, gonna need us. No it. funeral. I can't go to funerals. What are you talking about. I'm telling you, I get freaked out at funerals. I, the, the fear of death just drives me crazy, and I do all kinds of... Cr the last funeral I was at, they, they told me to throw dirt into the grave, and I accidentally threw my car keys. <laughs> I had to go in and try to get them, you know, and then the, the widow was helping me out of the hole. You know what? I know someone who can help you overcome your fear of death. He teaches a course on death and dying. What? A course on death? Oh, no, that's not that cult leader you used to sleep with, is it? No, it's not him. And he wasn't a cult leader, Norm. He was the manager of a Saturn dealership. <laughs> guy's dealt with people that are afraid of death, right? I mean, he's not gonna think I'm some kind of freak, or No, he? no, not at all, no. Uh, there's one thing I did forget to tell you. Phil is not just a professor on death and dying. He's actually dying himself. What? <laughs> Why do you do these things to me? What do you think, these surprises are cute or something? Get over yourself! He's gonna help you! He's never gonna answer. He probably thinks it's death calling. <laughs> Ah, look, he, he brought a friend with him. Come on in. Phil, this is Norm, and I'm sure you're going to be able to help Norm with his problem, so I'm just going to let the two of you talk. Uh, how's it going there, you know, besides the dying part? <laughs> he knows, right? Yes. <laughs> Don't be offended by Norm, Phil. I pretend he's a talking dog, and that way just the fact that he's talking is impressive. <laughs> Norm, if I'm going to teach you, the first thing you have to know is that I'm not dying, I'm living. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Norm. What do you think happens when you die? Oh, well, when I was a little boy, my parents told me that, that there was this beautiful white light. Good. That distracts you just long enough for the demons to steal your soul. <laughs> And then your body is tossed into a pit where you're covered with 10,000 pounds of suffocating dirt forever. God, didn't they say anything nice could happen to you after you die? No, no, they said that wasn't an option because I had ruined everything for everybody. My, my, that's horrible. Yeah, well, they meant well. <laughs> no, it's too simplistic to see death as an end. I see it as a beginning, the beginning of an exciting journey. And I look forward to embracing the adventure. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh. Phil, wait, you want me no, to call no, somebody? No, no. 
it's okay. It's it's my time. Ah. Oh, sweet Lord, the pain. Ah. I'm dying. I hate it. Oh, there's nothing on the other side. What? For all eternity, there's nothing. Don't take me. Take Norm! <laughs> God, Lori! Lori, Phil, Phil's dead. What? Oh, my God! Oh, you didn't play with the dials on this thing, did you? No, of course not. He died. He, he died. It was horrible. You know, he, he got real scared, and, and, and then he said there was nothing for all eternity. I was right, Lori. Death is bad. <laughs> Rest in peace, Phil. Okay, now rest in peace. <laughs>
I, I, I have nothing to say. I obviously didn't know him. Danny? Danny? Dan? Oh, it's locked. Go away. Danny, please open the door. I know you're having a lot of confusing feelings right now, but I can help you with that. Oh, no, you can't. I mean, it was my father. I mean, you're not a guy. You, you don't understand. Taylor, go get Norm. That marks the end of the ceremony. I believe that the gravesite has been prepared. All it needs now is a corpse, and we'll be bringing that along very shortly. <laughs> Danny? Okay, he's coming in. There's no dead bodies in here, right? <laughs> Taylor told me they took the body to the cemetery? Yes, there's no body. Now, just come on over here. Come on. Okay, where's Danny? He's in that room with the body. The body? Norm, Danny needs you right now. You're his best friend. <sighs> yeah, well, Danny and I haven't been getting along lately. Uh, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> But uh, to tell you the truth, ever since his dad died, he's been kind of stuck up. Look, look, I appreciate the man's suffering, but I got to keep things moving. Norm, you're the only one that Danny will talk to. Well, Laura, you know I want to go in there, but I, I can't. I can't. Well, what's your problem? Norm thinks that death is an end to everything. He's afraid that once you're gone, that's just it forever. Uh, look, I don't do this for everybody. Here, have a seat. This is the latest research on what happens after you die. Where did Nana go? <laughs> Look on page two. That's heaven. That's where you go. Really? Of course, really. I'm not a religious man. I'm a businessman. I only deal in facts. <laughs> i never seen a picture of it before. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool there with the little puppy dogs and the yeah. fluffy clouds. <laughs> Oh, well, look, those cool horses with only one horn. What are they called? Well, yeah, one horn horses. Yeah. That's a children's book. No, it's not. It's heaven. It's heaven. It's heaven. It's heaven. Danny, Danny, let me in. Hey, Danny. Funny, you know, I've been so afraid of being in a room with a dead body, but uh, now that I'm in here, I can see how fun it is. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't tell me he was gay. I'm a son, he should have told me. Well, you're right. I wouldn't blame him if you never saw him again. Come on, let's get out of here. I just wish I could talk to him. Well, uh, well why, why don't you talk to him, you know? Uh, just, just pretend he's, he's having a nap in a suit, in a box. You come with me. Hey, Dad, um, just want you to know that, uh, it's, it's okay with me that you're gay. Oh, thanks, son, I appreciate it, you know. <laughs> I was just being him, you know? That's what he would have said. Um, but it's, uh, it's not okay that you lied to me. You know, I wish you trusted me enough to t You know, this is, this is not helping at all. Oh, well, wait, uh, wait, I got a question. Uh, hey, Harry, uh, uh, why didn't you tell Danny? I was going to, you know. Really? Well, that's interesting. Well, why, 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 well, I was just waiting till I died. <laughs> really? That seems kind of odd. You know? Well, I thought it would be less embarrassing when I died, you know. That's a weird one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Is this possible? He might have been, you know, just about to tell you. I don't know. You think? Sure. Hey, if it makes you feel better, what the hell? Why not believe it, right? <laughs> I mean, hey, look at, look at what I've decided to believe is heaven. <laughs> I like the unicorn. One horn. One horn. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, maybe, maybe he was going to tell me. Yeah, there you go. Man, it's been a hell of a day. Thanks, Norm. I'm uh, going to go outside and uh, apologize to uh, everyone. Hey, I'll be with you in a second, man. <laughs> hey, Harry. I did my best with your kid, man. Hey, listen, I, I always know that you uh, you had a bit of a thing for me there, so uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, here's one for the road.
I believe he's gone. Well, he's not gone as long as you remember him. What's that? A copy of his will. I haven't been able to open it. Seems like once I do, it'll seem so final. Could you open it? I'll do it. No, he. I'll do it. Just let me do it, all right? Give me the thing. Ah, jeez. Give me the other half. No. Fine. We'll just each read one half. I, Harry Sanchez, being of sound mind and body, hereby bequeath Danny, my only son. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand what? I hope it's pieces of cake. That would be an excellent surprise. <laughs> brother off of me. Give me a hundred bucks, I'll get off you. Okay, just start a tab. <laughs> All right, it's gonna cost you an extra hundred, sweetie, for me to keep this towel on. <laughs> <laughs>